Hi folks, Evil here from Thunderous Lure Company. Welcome to today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. I've got Antonio with us today, our boatless angler, but we're not boatless today. We've got the little car topper with us and we're out here looking for that channel cat bite. We've got a beautiful day upon us and we're both going to run the same rig. We're going to be running a sliding sinker rig. So I've got a Thunder Mist sinker slide here and you could always tell the Thunder Mist slide because it's the special camel color, camel green. Comes with a nice uh, sinker, big wide sinker snap. We'll take uh, bank sinkers very nicely. And then I've got a uh, swivel, just a single swivel tied there as a stop. And then I've got about two feet of a line and I'm running to a five odd hook and look at this bait pocket that I hooked up and that's how I hook it. I hook it right through the one end and I filled this bait pocket up. It's got some nice livers in there, some cut sucker and uh, shiners, and there's a, it's a bloody, it's an actual bloody mix. It's really bloody. And uh, that's gonna release just a ton of scent. Get my line out there. It's gonna release a lot of scent. And by running the sliding sinker rig today, if these fish are a little finicky, what'll happen is they'll be able to pick up that bait that uh, sliding uh, sinker rig would just slide along my line, which I am running braided line and the sinker slides are uh, braid tough, so no worries there. And they'll be able to pick up the line. They will not detect the sinker. I've got about a three quarter ounce sinker on there right now, but I could have used a three pound sinker because <laughs> it doesn't matter when you're using a sliding rig. They will not detect the sinker weight. Okay, so you're already in, right Antonio? Yeah, I just cast it. You cast it? and I cast it here. Now normally we cast to the same spot, but we want to see if we can find where the fish are. If we can find where they are, then we'll cast to the same area and uh, scent up that area really, really nice and see what, uh, what, can we can, what we can attract. Oh, there's a bite right there. Oh yeah, there's a bite right there. Look at that. Nice. Oh, 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 he just dropped, he picked it up. That was fast. There's a bite right there, he just, Oh, he just dropped it too. I don't think it was the boat movement. That was a bite. Hmm. I'm gonna sit tight and see if he comes back after it. He's back, he's back, he's back. He's back, and I'm back, Antonio. Wow. <laughs> he's back, and I'm back. Loving it. This is what it's all about. It's all about just getting out and doing some fishing enjoying our outdoors and you know what I always say catching fish is a bonus but catfishing is very I'm gonna say it's very relaxing eh? Oh for sure. Like and exciting. And exciting well it's because you're not constantly you know jigging or you know you're just waiting for a bite but this one bit right away so he must have been I must have threw it just like right at him feels like a decent fish too I'm using a I've got a seven foot one piece seven foot rod that I'm running it's just a medium action rod and I'm running the new Thunder braid braided line I've got 15 pound I went with 15 pound on this reel but to my sliding sinker rig I've got a fluorocarbon leader a 20 pound fluorocarbon leader going off to that five odd hook nice size I, that's my favorite size hook for what do you how about you Antonio like I got a five out you got a five out as well it, it's my favorite size for channel cat I guess if you're going for smaller channels maybe a three out is good yeah but a five out is good even for those big channels eh wow he was out there he well he I let him I let him take it that's what the sliding rig right he can pick it up and they can go with it That's the beauty of it. Okay, he's coming in closer, but you know what's gonna happen. Need the net. Yeah, I'm gonna get you the net. I haven't seen him yet. He has not surfaced, not even a swirl. 
Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a good channel, cat. That's a good channel. Okay. Nice color to him, nice size. He's not, he's not done yet. I know he's not done yet. And I know it's gonna... Wow. Yeah, like I said, he's still green. He is still green. He's just realizing that he's been, he's been hooked. If you've never fished for channel cats, you gotta try it. Hey. Oh, 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 oh. He's got me doubled over. <laughs> I mean, we love to fish for all. Oh, whoa. What a fight. This is unreal. This is unreal. I've got a lot of pressure on this fish, too. <laughs> you know, we love to fish saltwater, love to fish for walleye, bass, salmon, trout, you name it. Multi-species is where it's all about. And if you're just a bass angler, we got a turn? I think so. Oh, your line is still in. He's going to cross your line. You know, if you're just a bass angler or just a walleye angler or strictly saltwater fishing, it's nice to try fishing for different species. It's just fun. Oh, big tail. Big tail, yeah. Big tail, big old tail. Now, I went with a size five bait pocket because I like that size, it's a little bit bigger, but, because I'm expecting bigger fish, but if the fish were smaller, I'd downsize to a size three. Or if they were a little tentative, you know, after a cold front or something like that. Oh yeah, oh. Yes, look at that. Oh my God. Oh, oh my God. It's not gonna fit the net. Antonio, do you see the size of the head on that fish? This is a big channel cap, folks. A big channel cap. It doesn't fit the net. I know, I know, and I know what our viewers are gonna say, our subscribers, the guys who have been with us for a long time. You guys always use these small nets. I know, we gotta upsize our nets. Okay. Head first. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Good one. How heavy? 15? I'd say 15. An honest 15? Maybe 16, actually. 16? Let's get a weight on him. Let's do a weight. Here. I just happen to have the weight scale handy. Okay. Can you do it? Not really. No? Okay, I'll do it. Got it? I'll do it. Hang on. Yeah. A little bit of line. Okay, I'm gonna weigh him right in the net. Yeah, I got him. I think I got him. Holy, gee, that's heavy. Yeah, he is 16, six, 16. So he's a he's an honest take a pound off for the net. That's an honest 15 pounder right there. That's a good fish. Nice one. Oh. Yeah, let's take a look at him. Actually, I want to grab a photo for Facebook and Instagram. I will reuse that bait pocket because it's no worse for wear. And while we were snapping that photo of this beautiful channel cat, look at this channel cat right there. Absolutely. That's a beaut. At 15 pounds, that's a nice fish. Okay. We grabbed the photo, and while we were grabbing a photo, guess who grabbed our, our uh, cameraman's line? Uh, Oh, wow, <laughs> he's gone in a flash. So, as we were snapping that photo, the cameraman's rod just went whoosh. And he's using bait pockets too. Same bait that we're using. Okay, and there goes the phone. The phone is here somewhere. I have to decline that call right now. That's the risk of bringing the phone out with you. A good fish? Yeah. That's a can what we call a cameraman fish right there. Taking me left and right. <laughs> now, did you manage to get your rod out or is your rod still in there? I half reeled it in, but it's off to the side it's, now. It's so over there? It's okay. Right there. All right. Well, my line is out, so we don't have to worry about my line. This is unbelievable, folks. This is great, great fishing. 
And these bait pockets releasing that scent, it's unreal. Just fantastic. Wow. He's fighting, eh? Well, mine gave me a battle, too. Like, just a big-time battle. It's a good fish. Good fish? So, you know it would be funny now if your rod... Well, that, <laughs> that would not be good. That would not be good. That would not be good. I mean, I reeled it in halfway, so... Well, no, you got the anchor line there. Yeah. It's got to go around that anchor line. <laughs> yeah. I'll just get my rod out of the way here. Wow. Good one, eh? Really fighting. You're going to thank the cameraman for that or what? <laughs> well, once it's in the boat, then I will. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, that happens. You haven't even got a look at it yet. No, that's, that's usually the sign of a big fish, right? When they stay down like that. Like, that's just a big fish. It could be. Oh, he's got a T-turn bait rig on there yep. with, with the bait pocket. No, 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 no sliding rig on his line. Bait rig line. Well, the My bait arm is actually tired. Yeah, I know they're strong. Now that bait rig's got 25 pound test fluoro on it, so it's plenty, plenty strong. Holy cow! They're strong, eh? This is the thing. This is what I mean, folks, about multi-species fishing. Channel cat fishing. Yes, it's relaxing, but it is so much fun. You're not taking the runs like yours was taking. Mine was mine was running and gunning. This guy's just hugging bottom and <laughs> your line. Your line's okay. It's fine. Yeah, your line is fine. Unbelievable. How's that almost for a for a double header? Well, I see the swivel, the T-turn. I see the T-turn there. Boils. Uh, boils. I, I didn't get a, quite a good look at him. He's turning the boat. Yeah, he is turning us all around. We've got two anchors, one anchor off to the front and one anchor off to the back to, back to kind of stabilize us a bit. But these these channels are so Oh, they're so powerful. Look at this fish. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh. That's another good one. That's another good fish. You gonna wait on him? Yeah, you know what? Keep him right in the water. I don't think it's as big as the one I just released. I don't think so either. But it's still a good fish. Let me change it to pounds from kilos. Let's see what we got here. We got 15, 16, actually, he's 6, 15, 10. He's gonna be just under 15. The 6, 16, 10, I mean, so, or, is it 15, 10, or 16, 10? No, it's 16, 16, 10. So 16, 10, he's 15, about 15, 10, 15 and a half. Maybe a little bigger than mine. There you go. Slightly bigger. Well, here, you do the honors. Cameraman fish. Maybe, I know, let's see if the cameraman wants a photo. No, he doesn't. Okay, he does not want a photo. So we will release this fish. Let's let the folks at home. Take a look at him. That's the sign of a good day. Cast your line in. Within seconds, you get the first bite. And he fires. You land the first fish. And then, as you're fighting the first fish, another rod goes off. That's the sign of a good day. These bait pockets are going to do the job today for sure. And we are going to have ourselves a fantastic day. We always have great days, regardless. Get it out. Not yet. Look at the mouth, the size of the mouth on that fish. Holy. He's clamping on me. He's got, <laughs> they, got, they have like a sandpaper, I'm going to call it sandpapery kind of teeth. So they're not like a pike or a walleye, but I'll tell you, when they clamp down on your hands and they give a little twist, 
They'll they'll cut your they'll cut your hand. Oh yeah, that's a nice that's a nice fish. Big head. Big head. The head is huge. <laughs> the head is just. Yeah. It's got a big head, but not a huge body. He's all head. He's all head. All the weight is right there. Okay. Oh, there he goes. And the cameraman's bait pocket. Let's take a look. Yeah, he's using the size five as well. Size five is a good like for those bigger fish. It's a good size to use. But you know what? Here we are. Our day is just beginning. Um, I got to get my line back out there again because this is just a blast. If you get an opportunity, folks, just give catfishing a try. It's a lot of fun. Wherever you're tuning in from today, and the catfish are all over North America and abroad. So if you get an opportunity, get out there, get a line wet, have some fun. I want to thank you ever so much for joining us on today's episode of Thunmas Fishing Tips. And as always, folks, until next time, good luck and good fishing. Back in we go. I'm going to reuse that bag. <laughs> <laughs>